Good morning. I'm Adonis Pope here to interview Timothy Perry. Good morning. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How you doing? All right. Okay, I got some questions for you. What was the reason for your weight loss? The reason was since 2016, I was diagnosed with diabetes. <laughs> and uh, at that moment, I didn't understand what diabetes was. Right. I knew it was deadly and it was sickly and it um you can lose um, your eyesight, limbs, and um, that really scared me when I found out I was diagnosed with diabetes. Uh, it made me think more about my health and wanted to live more. Right. And so this is the reason for the weight loss. Hello, my name is Aria, and I have been a sufferer of diabetes for the past few years. And just seeing um, Big Slam's journey has made me realize that I need to take my health more seriously and I need to get up and get out and do something about it. Thank you for inspiring me. Big Slam, I love you and can't wait to see what God has in store for you. How was your first day in the gym? The first, matter of fact, the first day I went to uh, two gyms. Uh, the first gym I walked into, I was immediately judged. You know, uh, when you're fat, when you're big, um, you know it already. You don't need nobody to, to judge you and say that you're big and you're fat. Uh, I overheard somebody say, um, uh, he's going too slow on the treadmill. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to work. Wow. I immediately got the treadmill and I, I just said, you know what, I'm going to leave. And uh, I went to Southwest Fitness. And that atmosphere was much better. Uh, they kept me coming back. They kept on encouraging me to come back. And I've been there for now 15 months now. And um, I, don't, I don't think I'll never leave that gym. Neighbors and says, I had weight loss surgery, but I felt like giving up. But after I seen Timothy Perry, Things that he was doing, and he went to the gym every day, and he was eating right. I'm like, I got to get back on track. He really inspired me to get back on track because I had fell off. But I want to thank him for posting all his videos, posting everything that he eats, and the calories, and the journey that he is on. Explain to me what is, uh, uh, intermittent fasting is. Um... The way I do the fasting is um, um, 12 p.m. No, no, no. I don't eat before 12 p.m. And I don't eat after 8 p.m. Which means that um, uh, I don't eat breakfast. I only eat lunch around 12. And lunch can be like a salad, apple, or chicken breast. Something, very, something really small. Um, black coffee, um, water, zero calorie drinks, and um, around about between five and seven, I have my dinner. Um, after 8 p.m., no food, no drink until the next day at 12 p.m. And uh, what you're doing is your body's fasting. And so um, that morning you wake up, your body is burning fat to keep your body going. Right. So what you're doing, you're burning calories and fat at the same time because you haven't ate anything since 8 p.m. So your body is pulling from its own source to keep you keep you alive. Right. Um, you can burn high amounts of fat and then as well as going to the gym with it. Um, I go to the gym around about 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. and um, so before I even eat, I'm up and going. I'm in the gym. My body is burning um, high amounts of fat because now I'm in the gym now. I'm working now. It got it got to support my um, heart 
loans right. and all that stuff got to be supported. So it's going to pull from its own source that, and that's going to be the fat. Yeah. And um, so that fasting right now, it worked for me. It might not work for anybody else, but it worked for me though. So it's best to work out early in the morning. In the morning because, because you haven't ate anything. Your your stomach is still empty. But um, if you don't have high blood pressure or diabetes, um, they tell you to eat breakfast. But um, I didn't I didn't do it, and I still don't do it. But uh, it has it has done a great job for me. So what me? so much to me seeing my godson and the process that he's doing um, with his weight loss journey it really encouraged me um, watching him I had no excuses I saw him working uh, being faithful going to the gym and I remember once I told him well I have a membership I just pay and support it every month you know paying my fees and stuff and he say why waste your money and do it um, when you know you can go to that gym and do it so I started doing it and because of his encouragement and his faithfulness it caused me to start working out so now I'm down to dress sizes and my progress is good. I can I feel better. I'm doing things better with more energy. And Timothy Rock Sharp Perry, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for encouraging me. Your family in Atlanta, Georgia, love you. God bless you. Uh, what is your workout routine? My workout routine. When I first started in May of last year, I was um. Uh, Fully cardio. Uh, treadmill was my thing. Uh, jumping rope was my thing. Anything that had to do with cardio, I was going to do it. Um, and I would burn like a thousand calories a day during right. that. Um, now that I have slimmed down enough, I'm now building now. I'm building up on toning the muscles and growing my muscles. So now I still do cardio. But now I add in weights. I add in sit-ups, push-ups, jump rope. Anything that has to do with fitness, I'm not doing it. I don't care if it's going to the track and running up the stairs and down the stairs. I'm going to do it. Uh, so, and uh, pretty much get an hour in a day. Uh, it's not hard to do. Once you start exercising, it's going to be hard at first, but... I'll give you about 30 minutes, you'll be just fine. And then the time goes by so fast, you ain't know what time, where the time went, you know. Um, but that's my own uh, routine right there. Sounds like a great routine. So once you first get started, it, it all just now, comes with now, you. Like I'm going to tell you, my first 15 minutes, even to this day, is are the hardest 15 minutes because the body do the body does not want us to work work out. It does not want to do a thing. Um, I get headaches. I get pains in my legs. That's my body telling me that it does not want to do it. But um, but you gotta keep on pushing. I keep, on. I push it, and then about thirty minutes, it's it's going. And then after an hour, it wants to keep going. And then some some days I keep going. Some days I I go to the point where, um. I would see stars, like the little star. <laughs> then I know, okay, you, you did too much right there. But um, yeah, the, the first 15 minutes for me, even to this day, it's the hardest 15 minutes. Timothy, good morning to you, sir. Um, just want to extend this quick video to let you know how well pleased I am in the goals and accomplishments you have done in your weight loss journey. It's truly inspiring, uh, even to me, to continue to keep my weight loss goals and, and ministry goals. Uh, God bless you, man. Um, you have encouraged many other people and um, your weight loss goals as well. And um, like I said, this is part of your ministry. Your ministry is also um, encouraging people to have a better you and giving them a greater expectancy for their life, uh, for their lives, that is. Uh, so, man, thank you for doing that. Uh, the kingdom of God is truly blessed by the work that you are doing. And like I said, this is your ministry, man, and, and it shows. You are showing the results. So God bless you, man. Congratulations, and keep up the good work. I hope to see you soon, brother. Love you. Bye-bye. What was your highest weight? The highest weight was in 
2015-2016 was 400 pounds. 400. I remember that because I, I, I was playing around with somebody. Mm -hmm. He was, I think somebody had asked me to do a diet. You know, they put money into, into a jar. Right. And whoever lost the most money, the, the most weight, the money. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had to find out our weight. And <laughs> I stepped on the scale, and the scale ran arrow. Wow. And that was that was that was a home scale. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to the a doctor, and they had the bit the bit the bit scale, and I remember saying four hundred pounds. I remember that because it, it it really made me sad because I was like, whoa, how did you get that bit? You know, mm -hmm. what, what what was you doing? Uh, I can remember um, my weight really b became an issue um, around about 2012, and that was after the loss of my grandma. Mm -hmm. And uh, people deal with grief in different ways. Mine was food, and uh, I remember days, and still to the day, I think about it, and I was always eating, eating. So the weight really started coming on between 2012 and 2016, but 2015 and 2016, I was at my heaviest, over 400 pounds. And that was the reason for um, when you're heavy, mm -hmm. you have a lot of fat, tissue, skin around you. Right. And that was, that was days that I, I would wake up in the morning times and my bed sheets would be Covered in blood mm -hmm. because the skin flaps over, and when it does that, the skin up under it is suffering. It's not getting, it's not getting the air. It's not getting the blood flow. Mm -hmm. So what it's doing is the skin is breaking down, mm -hmm. the tissue is breaking down. So then you start opening up for open wounds, and I can remember having two holes in my sides, mm -hmm. and you can see the white meat. Mm -hmm. You can actually see the white meat. And um went to doctor about it and he was like, you know, um being overweight is affecting your body, your organs, um, your skin. Um and pretty much you won't be around for too long. Mm -hmm. Your body telling you that right now. I remember at night time I would wake up because I know that during the night I had stopped breathing. Mm -hmm. The lungs was getting too heavy. The fat in the lungs was getting too heavy. Um, uh, I, I made several visits to the chiropractor because my backbone was messed up and he was telling me that this side of the backbone, my neck right here was, was um, deteriorating because it was holding so much fat around it. Mm -hmm. um, they, they wanted to do surgery on my back. And um, so all this stuff was coming up to me because of, of the weight, diabetes, back problem, breathing problem, bleeding from the sides. Um, that right there really... Um, it was like a wake-up call. That was a wake-up call. Really, really, it, it wasn't, but um, I got my true wake-up call um, 2017. It between January and... April. Mm -hmm. um, I keep on seeing dreams of caskets, cemeteries, and the last dream I had, I saw myself in the casket. I saw myself. I remember the dream like it, I, I can remember dreaming like it was just right now, like I was looking over at myself. Mm -hmm. right. And I said, okay, that's the warning. That's the warning that they've been warning me about that um it was gonna happen so may 1st was that day i said i'm, I'm gonna go i'm gonna go to i went to the track first in boom park in america's um i remember doing that several times during the years and couldn't do it um uh, may 1st but with that day i went down there i was in pain couldn't breathe couldn't walk sweat everywhere and i did Four left that four left that day, four left, yeah, four left that day. And um went home, 
took a shower, laid down, and kept going. It was something inside of me that kept pushing me, pushing me over and over and over again. I did one whole week down the boom park, and then um, it was getting hot, very hot, so I didn't like the, the heat. That what made me go to the gym, that first gym, uh, because of the heat. And then after that, I went to Southwest Fitness after that. And um, I've been there for over 15 months, but um, yeah, that right there was the wake up call for me to see that, to have that, to have that dream about that. Right. So that right there woke me up pretty well. My name is Patrick Washington. I just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, Mr. Richard, how he has encouraged me and inspired me to uh, lose weight through his own weight loss. Um, yeah. God, he has lost so much weight. It is incredible. Uh, Rich, I'm proud of you. Uh, uh, you're an amazing man. It takes courage. It takes faith. It takes discipline. Because you know we like to eat. We like to eat, yeah, almost everything. So it takes a lot of discipline. And, and sir, you have it. And I'm just so grateful that you're in my life to, and to just push me into greatness. And thank you. And keep pushing, moving forward. God bless you, brother. What kept you motivated when you were down? Um, family. Family and social media did that. When I first saw my little Louis weight, I put it on, on social media. <laughs> uh, I put it on Facebook, Instagram. I put it on, um, I think I put it on, t on Twitter. I think I did that too as well. And, um, when you say you're gonna lose weight or anything on social media, they watching you. Right. They watching. And then if you're not gonna do it, they're gonna call you a liar mm -hmm. or a hypocrite. Or you ain't doing it, you ain't not doing that. So I was not gonna be called a fake. I was gonna do it. Regardless, because that right there kept me grounded. My family kept me grounded. Um aunts, uncles, cousins, my mom. Um, and then I had received a inbox from a young guy in Texas. He was, I think he's 15, 16. He was a football player. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me in the inbox that he walks around with a strong personality. Um, everybody thinks think that, he's, that he's cool and he's down to earth and He's this big star player on the team. Right. But um, their jokes are bothering him. They call him fat boy or big boy or, you know, you're too fat for this. You know, he, he tells me that he goes to lunchtime and the kid is picking him about eating. But because he's an athlete, he, um, he wears that hard shell. But he was telling me that it bothered him a lot. And he started to watch my um, journey on Instagram, and it made him want to lose weight. Now he um now I keep I keep in touch with him. He told me that he's down twenty five or thirty pounds now. He's down. He's down now. And I remember again an inbox from a, a lady. I think she ran about twenty five. She was in upstate somewhere. And she was thinking about committing suicide because of her weight. She thought she couldn't lose the weight. She thought she thought it was just gonna be, um, she gonna be that big person for the rest of her life. Um, she's doing well because of the journey. So seeing that and having family members and the community support, and then seeing young people on social media going through that, that kept me going. Uh, when I was down, that kept me motivated to say, okay, well, they're going through it. Uh, I'm going through it, but they're watching me, though. So uh, that kept me motivated, kept me going when I was down. And that was several days I was down. I've been down lately, this month. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why, but uh, I'm getting to the point now where I have nothing to prove no more to nobody. 
Uh, the reason I, I got down because I, I was like, you know, you was doing so much to, to prove people wrong that counted you out. But now you have nothing, nothing to prove nobody. Um, someone asked me, uh, will you gain the weight back? And I immediately said, if I do, who problem, who, who problem, who problem is that? Who fault is that? I mean, who business is that? Right. If I get down to my goal of 180 and I gain the weight back, who problem is that? Who business is that? I have, I have nothing to prove to nobody. I have done this without surgery, pills, um, what do I want to say? The sleeve surgery, you know, um, I have done this, I have done this 100% natural. So, That's great. um, I have nothing to prove to anyone, but I, I started getting down because I was like, you know, you were, try, you were trying to prove yourself to people that you really didn't need, need how to, um, prove anything to. Absolutely. And I said, you know, from now on, I'm, I'm doing my own thing from now on. It doesn't matter who likes it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be me. If I, I don't plan on getting big again, but if I do, I know exactly how to get it off again. Oh, where do I begin when I talk about Big Tim, Slim Tim? I call him Slim Tim because he look amazing. He have encouraged me. He have encouraged others. I know that God have did a great work in him, and he continue on doing a great works in him. I just have to follow him so I can get motivated and keep losing many pounds and more pounds and more pounds and more pounds. Slim Tim is that's what I call him. He have motivated a lot of people, and I'm so, so proud of him. Okay. Uh, did you have a good support system? Oh, yeah. Um, my family. Like I said, my family. Uh, very, very strong support system. Uh, people in the community, like friends in the community, would, you know, come and exercise with me at, at the gym, at the park, my cousins. I had people that inboxed me calling me. I want to go work out with you. That was a, that was a strong support system right there. Um, to see my family now um, doing better for their health, that's a strong support system right there to me. Um, I remember my girl cousin told me she was like, "You got small." <laughs> that right there to see a child say that right there that meant a lot. So that's. A, that was a support thing to me. Uh, so yeah, I got I got a very strong support. I got matter of fact, 90, 97% of America's is my strong support system. I, I know I got some people that neg that's that's negative about that kind of stuff, but that's their business. They can they can be negative all they want to, but I'm I, I got a real strong support system in, in America's. And here and here in our business. Hey TM, this is Jamaica. Just wanted to say I'm so, so proud of you. From the beginning up to now, like you really, really worked hard and it's showing off and now you look just as awesome as ever. Tell those girls and those ladies to stay off you now. You got a whole team of people waiting to jump. <laughs> But on a real tip, even through everything, you remain the same humble person that I met and love. And you definitely inspired me to keep on and stick with it this time. Because you know me, I'm always up and down. So much love and success to you. Love you, Tim. Okay. How, how did you feel about making a front of a newspaper in America? <laughs> I remember. Um, I don't know when that happened. Uh, we met, there was a meeting between me and the, the writer at the paper. We met for like two hours and uh, she was telling me that she had, that she seen me at the gym and uh, we talked and we just talked and everything and then uh, she told me, I'm going to put it in the, in the, in the paper. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, it's going to be like a small little column in the paper. It's going to be somewhere deep into the paper. I can't find it, you know. If it's in there, I'm going to find it. It's going to be like two, two words. 
lost lost weight or he lost weight. You, you know, it's gonna be the real small, you know. Um they told me to watch out for in, in two weeks, two the Saturday, two weeks and Saturday, they said, um, look look for it in the paper. I said, okay. So that morning came, I I got up out the bed at five AM and I went to look for I went to look I went to um Flash Foods in America. They didn't have it. I went around to other stores, they didn't have it. The place they had my paper was at my gym. Wow. It was it was the American Sound Recording paper box outside of my gym. And uh, I said, that's how I run it. <laughs> I work at this gym right here and they got the paper right here. So I got it and I, and, uh, I remember opening. And I was like, I opened it. I was like, no, nah, I must be. I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the wrong thing right now. <laughs> and so I opened it. And I was like, I said front page. I said I, I was going to be in the paper, not the front page of paper. They did a two-page story on me wow. in the America's Time Recorder. That right there, <laughs> that made me. Now that right there boost me even higher because from May to May I had lost 140 and um, seeing that right there that's my history that's my town history that's something that's, that's gonna always be there uh, for my nephews for my kids no matter who it is it's gonna always be there and um, my town they lit up social media. They lit up my phone. They lit up this, they lit up that. America's came strong with that support right there. Um, um, and, and it made me even more hum humble. Mm -hmm. it, I didn't get the big head, never get, I would never do that. It made me humble, it made me even more humble because I, I can see that this journey was made for me by God. Because everything that everything that has happened has fallen to line. I mean, from 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 me having that dream about me being the casket mm -hmm. to today, everything has been falling to line. Um, I've been speaking at health fairs, health events. Um, I have some coming up in next year in in up in Atlanta way. I have I have a lot of things that's coming my way. Um, but this right here, I know, has been ordained by God because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be where I am today right now. Um, so having that in the paper really humbled me down, and I would never, I would never take that for granted ever. My nephew Timothy, he has battled with weight issues for years it's hard now thinking back to his youth not remembering him when he was a heavy young man he's never had low self-esteem issues if he did he hit it well but I was so pleased to see his progress when the doctors told him that his situation was dire and I'm so glad that he decided that his life meant something and that he needed to live and he has inspired so many and I am just so excited to see the things that God has in store for him because he this journey that he's on so many people are struggling with the same issues that he struggled with and when they see that he can do it they can do it and he has inspired me as well thank you Timothy for all that you do we love you how do you handle negative feedback from people I don't. I don't. I used to. When I first started, I remember. I remember going into Food Lion, and uh, I had a I had a buggy full of salad, bananas, apples, water. I had about three things of water. Uh, this this is my first week right here. I'm trying to lose the weight, so I'm going cold turkey with everything. I'm going. I looked on the, on the internet and they said, eat this, eat that, eat this, you know. All that right here, I'm, I'm, I'm looking on the internet to find 
to lose weight. So I have I have bell pepper, I have onions, I have celery, I have carrots, I have everything in, in that in that bag. And to me, it looked like a garden. <laughs> so that was this woman. She was on the cane. A black woman. She was on the cane, and she peeked into my buggy. She said, "Um, oh, that's for you." I said, "Yes, no, that's for me." She said, uh, "You big? You need more than this for him? We black folks." We got big bones. And I looked at her up there. And that bothered me because this is my first week right here. My first week trying to, trying, to, trying to lose weight and then you come up to me with this right here. That, that bothered me. Um, that was several times where I have gotten negative feedback. I know that when this video comes out, it's going to be negative feedback. I don't deal with negative folks because them people right there will, 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 will live in negativity for the rest of their life because they can't move on and do things on their own. Mm -hmm. Why would I want to worry about somebody who's being negative when my life is moving on? I have no time for it. I have no patience for it. And if I had allowed that woman to, her world to stop me, I'd probably be dead right now. Because I, I probably be big, bigger than what I was. I know this. It's been over a year now. It's been for, it's been fourteen months now. So I know. I have lost one hundred and sixty-seven pounds in fifteen months. In fifteen months, I could have gained one to seven more pounds. So um, I did not let that bother me. Matter of fact, it made me mad. Mm -hmm. I went to the gym, and now. I gave that treadmill the business. <laughs> I gave the business. I was when I when I got the treadmill. I was I had sweat coming from all over. I was just that mad. And I said, okay, that's what you're gonna do from now on. You're gonna use every negative thing they say about you or to you or behind your back. You're gonna come to the gym and you're gonna work it out. Because if it's in your mind, it's gonna destroy you. But if you work it out, it's gonna make your body better. I remember. Seeing her this year, <laughs> and I said, um, I said, hey, she go, who are you? I said, you remember me? I don't know, I don't never met the folk. I said, um, uh, I said, you have a good day, and walk right on by. And you didn't remember me now. Wow. Mm-hmm. I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't tell who I was. I didn't tell what she said because it was no need for, her. no need for all that. So I don't deal with. I don't handle negative folks. I leave them where they at. Um, I leave them in there, in their sick mind and whatever, and I'm gonna keep on living my life. So that's, that's how I deal with it. Hello, my name is Wanda, and I wanna talk about Tim, Tim Perry, my biggest motivator. Yes, um, he motivated me. He, I mean, very, he's, he's a good motivator. He has lost so many pounds, and I'm so proud of you. Tim, Big Slim, I thank you for motivating me, getting my mind right, getting me together, helping me. Thank you for helping me lose these 41 pounds. Yay, go me. Thank you, hon. I love you. Keep it up. I'm there with you. We're not where we want to be, but baby, we going to get there. Thank you. Love you, Tim. What's the best advice you can give someone who is trying to lose weight? The best advice I can give someone who's trying to lose weight is to never, never, um, never give up. Um, I gave up several times in the year, in the years before. I remember taking Xanax, no pill from TV. I, I saw them at Walmart. I got them. I, I bought that about 2013, 2014. I got them in 2013, 2014. I got them. I took them. The weight's still there. I tried the vinegar diet. The weight's still there. The hot dogs, the banana diet, the weight's still there. I tried all these darn diets and the weight's still there. And I would tell somebody, to never give up and to never listen to anyone who has any poison to feed into the system. Poison is negativity. 
Don't listen to anyone. I don't care if it's your mama, your daddy, your family, your brother. I don't care who it is. Don't listen to anyone who gives you snake venom. Snake venom. That's who people are who are negative to me. They are snakes. Snake venom. Don't let somebody get close to you that who, who is negative because they will, they will bite. And then you will be feeling depressed and down. Um, my thing is, I would tell them to do what's best for them. Uh, the treadmill, when I first began, it was best for me. That's what I like. People lift weights, people do running, people do jumping jazz, people do yoga. The trip because that's what it, it, it that's what they like. I like the treadmill and that's what I did. Find something that you like to do. Whether it's running, if you like I like, like to walk, walk. Like to jump rope, do jump rope. Like do weights, do weights. Do what your do what best your body responds to. When I first started out, I tried to do I tried to do weights. My body wasn't responding to weights as I thought it would. The treadmill it responded to it like that. I mean, it, it gets responding. Now, it's not responding to weights now. It is. Uh, it's building more. It's building up now. I can see it's building. I can feel it. I can feel it. Um, I will tell them to, to keep on going. Keep trying. Um, pray about it. Ask God for help. Hey, Warren Alford here. I'm one of the owners at Southwest Georgia Fitness Center. Just want to give a shout out to Richard Big Slim Perry. Just wanna say we're very proud of him for all of the uh, progress that he's made in his weight loss journey. Also, we're very thankful that he chose uh, our health club uh, to, to, to begin this journey. And I tell you, he has really made some amazing changes. I remember the first day he walked in that gym and uh, he was determined that he was gonna get that weight off and he made a quality decision put his trust in the Lord, and got on a treadmill, and he started dieting. Didn't make any excuses. Didn't look for some new fad to lose the weight. He did it the old-fashioned way. He's worked really hard. And just want to say uh, thanks to Big Slim. We appreciate him a whole lot, and we look forward to seeing, seeing him and supporting him and encouraging him on his weight loss journey. God bless. How far are you from reaching your goal? I am 42 pounds away. 42 pounds away. My goal is 180. And I'm at two, no, 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 I'm 43 pounds away. My go, I'm, I'm 223 now. Yeah, so I'm 43 pounds away from reaching my goal. Um, I would say by October, October, November, you know what? I'm not even in a rush no more. Mm -hmm. I'm not even in a hurry no more. I was at first. I was like, I was losing weight real fast. Got to get off me now. I'm like, okay, if you lose one pound a week, so what? Lose two pounds. I I should drop six or five pounds a week. Drop it. now. I'm like, if you lose a pound a week. So be it. So be because you almost there. You you there now. And I, and it don't it don't mean I'm giving up. It just means that I'm not going so hard with it because I know how to lose the weight. When you learn how to lose the weight, you ain't got to go so hard with it. I know how to lose the weight. A lot easier. I know how to lose it. My mind knows how to do it. I, I know how to control my eating habit. So if I lose six or two pounds a week, I'm fine with it. And I was losing weight real fast at one time, and my face had started to sink in. It was it was sinking in, and the body was pulling fat too fast from the body. You know, it, it was going too fast, and when you can make yourself sick doing that because you're pulling too much at one time. Now it's getting back filled up. I mean, it's getting small, but it's getting filled again, and I don't want to lose weight and look sickly. I'm going to look healthy because I am healthy. So if I lose two pounds or three pounds a week, so be it. When I reach that goal, I will reach that goal this year. There's no doubt in my mind. I will be there around October or November. If I get there in December, 
So what? So be it. Like I said, I have nothing to prove to nobody. I don't have nothing to prove myself no more. Because I know how to do it. So, uh, when I get there, believe me, I will post it. <laughs> I will post it. So. It was great having you in and doing this documentary. Once again, I'm Adonis Pope and this is Timothy Perry. <laughs>